Welcome guys to Tidarian's Quick Builds. Uh, today we have Marvel Heroes Magneto. First let's go over equipment. Uh, all of his uh, hero specific uniques are well worth using. You can slow the video down, pause it if you want to take a look. But there's a lot of great affixes in there that are absolutely perfect for his build. Um, as far as costume affixes go, we have all crit damage rating seems to be the way to go. I don't have the best core here, but plus fighting, plus energy, gain health on enemy hit, med kit and vulnerability, all great things. As far as the pet, I have plus three energy, which is great. Fighting would also be perfectly acceptable here. Brutal damage is great. Base health is great. I'm still looking for a plus two to range power cybernetic, so you can see that's not there. Um, my insignia is also definitely not optimal. I may even have a better one sitting in his stash right now. I'm not sure, but I haven't. He doesn't have a great insignia choice. Um, so anything you can find with critical hit rating, brutal, brutal strike rating, etc., is good. Uh, for the legendary, I went with cosmic control rod. It seems to be pretty on par with the uh, Gungner. So uh, you can see there's lots of great things for him. Um, you can pretty much choose whatever you want. I don't have a level 60 industry city signet, but this is a perfectly good item, especially a level 60 version. Even this one has a decent, uh, <laughs> decent stats on it. For the Uru Forged, I went with uh, the energy rating and the fire barrage. God of Mischief is also perfectly, perfectly acceptable here if you can, if you have the recipe and the runes. Uh, I went with Relic of Lemuria here. This guy is definitely a glass cannon, so you want as much survivability as you can fit in there without sacrificing DPS. And this seemed to be a good compromise instead of using the. Uh, uh, the range damage rating one which would have given me maybe just like 300 damage at a thousand stack which I didn't have anywhere close to anyway so this seemed like the best idea as far as the artifacts I don't have the best in the world but I do have a pretty good selection uh, blessed dangerous chip I actually have a perfect one here plus 400 ener energy rating uh, very nice black tom shillelagh another 750 damage rating to energy attacks and a good uh, bonus to health uh, Blessed Gem of the Curse is always a great way to go. Uh, this is an, a great one, but uh, some of the rolls are in there are nice, so I didn't want to waste any more money on it at the time. Uh, Advanced Phoenix Feather. This is probably the weakest link out of all these four, but you can see it's a, a good one, 500 damage rating. So it, there's a lot worse choices. Um, I could probably replace this one, but uh, I, I feel like he's in a pretty good place right now. Uh, and you can see I'm using Blessing of Hila on all four. Uh, Dr. Doom Medallion is a great choice. Power, power duration, damage rating, and health are all very, very useful for him. Spirit, not as much, but uh, still a good choice. Uh, as far as powers, okay, so I'm rocking in my left click. Wrecking Ball, which you can see is I've just left at the minimum one point. I don't really use it that much except as a very rare filler. Uh, on my A and S, I like to keep any dot powers or uh, area powers that I have on heroes in these slots. Uh, for Magneto, I have Meat Grinder, uh, 20,000 damage twice per second, area duration for 8 seconds. And it costs Debris, which is his alternate resource. Um, it sticks around for a pretty good amount of time and deals great damage once in it. You can pretty much clear trash with just this skill. Um, next we have Imprison, which is right here. It applies a Immobilize effect, but most importantly, it adds a second dot, 12,000 twice per second, and applies Vulnerability, which comes into play with some, some of his other powers and uh, equipment. Great skill. So I layer those two together in the same area, and anything caught in there is now taking about 34,000 damage twice per second for 8 seconds. Great damage. Um, next I have Spike Impale. This is my main single target slash boss killer. You don't get it for very, very late. I think it unlocks at level 50, no, 47, I believe. Anyway, um, look at that base damage. 142,000, 213,000 plus critical damage rating. The debris cost is high, but, uh, you'll see as I get into things that I'll actually be generating quite a bit of debris, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, flight is next. One point is all you need. Uh, magnetic attraction, I keep one point in. It's fantastic for uh, for mobs. Uh, even even a blue mob like this, you can see 344,000 tick with one point in it. Not bad at all. Um, finally, we have Storm of Steel. This is your signature. It's by far your most powerful DPS dealing attack. It has a 45 second cooldown on it, but for 6 seconds, you're negating 60% damage and you're dealing 400,000 damage per second face. Um, if it's ticking crit or brutal strikes, you're going to be dealing like 700,000 to 1.5 million per tick. So this is a great, great skill. Um, the cooldown is a little unfortunate, but the damage is well worth it. Finally, we have Blunt Instrument, which I keep on my right click. I max this because it deals decent damage, 96,000 to 145 on a cooldown of 4. If it didn't do anything else, it wouldn't be worth using. But the fact that it generates 10 debris orbs um, is extremely useful. Let's see, how much is each of those? Well, I'm not sure how much each debris orb is. It's actually worth, but it 
can regenerate pretty much all of your debris. Um, so that's it for powers and uh, skills as far as synergies go. Excuse me. Uh, I went with Cable for the critical chance, uh, Cyclops for the energy damage, and I'm still grinding out Omega points, so experience is always helpful. Deadpool, I don't find as good. Um, Iron Man has great passives, range to energy, both apply. Uh, only half of genes, but 3% is good enough to go with. Um, I could probably turn on Magneto to turn off something else, but I've got a good selection already. Plus another 4% for Miss Marvel, always great. Star-Lord, uh, energy power crit chance, very important. 4% uh, damage to bosses from Squirrel Girl. Thor has another 3% energy. And of course, Wolverine, Brutal Strike, and damage, always, always useful. Uh, so let's, and one more thing before we get going here, let's show you my Omega points. Uh, Magneto has a great selection of choices that he can use. I went with pretty much straight energy here. I think I may have applied all that I can to the boss damage rating. Yeah, so I went with 600 damage rating to bosses, which is always helpful. And the rest I poured into energy. Once I can afford it, I'll transition over to the 10 energy. Uh, some of the crazy builds I've seen with the guys have got like 30 plus energy do a lot of damage. So I'll eventually pump most of it into energy. But for now, this is working really well. Let me demonstrate this with a cosmic run here. We'll just, uh, shocker will be fine. So like I said, this guy, he's rocking 18,000 health. The 1200 damage rating is a bit of a misnomer. That's mostly because all my items are plus energy rather than just plus damage rating, but everything that he does is plus energy, so don't be fooled by the 1200 damage rating. This guy really can dish it out quite quickly. Um, I've enjoyed leveling this guy quite a bit. You can see that I've already got him on red prestige. He hasn't been out too long. Um, that was half personal decision, half because I liked him so much. I actually took all the uh, anti-hero characters they just came out with, Venom, Juggernaut, and Magneto to red, as you'll see later on. Um, but he was also just a blast to level. All right, so immediately you'll drop uh, both of your dots, and then you will hit your signature right away. And actually, that time that was enough to kill the boss. So, yeah, how many how many characters can drop two skills, one signature, and be done? Uh, he's definitely a powerful character, worth using, worth checking out. Um, probably my biggest complaint is that in the store. His default costume is his white one. This has been a source of debate on the uh, on the forums, but really his iconic one that I've got here is uh, well, it's just awesome. Enjoy, guys.